We build beautiful, award-winning homes and develop dynamic new communities. With numerous awards and over 30 years of experience, Harrison Homes has become a household name. Our rich legacy, born from hard work, a devotion to quality and customer empathy, ensures that you find the perfect new home for you and your loved ones. We know you have a special connection with your family and want a home that feels just as special. You have many choices when buying a home. That's why we've built a company that builds so much more than quality homes. At Harrison Homes, we don't just build homes, we build community. Oh shit. They forgot to mention the depressing unfinished lots. <laughs> Morning, kiddo. Is that coffee ready? Mm, we're out of the yoga chat, but we still have some instant. Gross. <laughs> Right, I almost forgot you inherited your father's coffee snobbery. Maddie up yet? I don't know. <laughs> you should ask me something. Like what? I don't know, isn't there like something new you want to learn about me or, I don't know. No, I think I've got you pretty much figured out. Damn, you're always thinking I was all dark and mysterious and shit. Okay. Favorite movie? Reanimator. That was easy. Favorite non-horror movie? Ooh, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna say Weekend at Bernie's. No, Weekend at Bernie's Part 2. That one's sick. Is that the one with the dancing dead dude on yeah, vacation? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> so you've never seen it? Sorry, old man, but you're the only one who knows it exists. <sighs> Maddie. All right, double feature next weekend. And what are you going to do for me? I want to introduce you to two comedy classics. And? Pizza? Deal. Awesome. Now you ask me something. It's actually kind of fun. All right. Uh, favorite band? Sabbath. How do you know that? Something harder. Okay. If you could kill anyone and get away with it, who would it be and how would you do it? Likely everyone's first choice. Hitler. No. It's gotta be someone real. Hitler wasn't real? No. Like someone you know. A family member, someone from school. I'll go with no one then, you creep. Why? Who would you kill? I can't believe I'm letting her date an older boy. I should probably check to see if it's even legal. Nah, I googled it. It's totally legal. Still super gross, though. <laughs> I guess she is 19. Could pretty much date whoever she pleases. I mean, I'd let her have this one. She's got enough drama with the move and everything, and you know, interfering now would likely cause some kind of Romeo and Juliet situation. I know. I don't like moving any more than you kids, but... 
I think we can make this place cool, right? It's a thousand times better than the townhouse. You did good, Mom. When did you get so mature? Ah. <laughs> Take it back, you little pig. <sighs> it is a pretty nice place, though, isn't it? Nicest place I've ever lived. Yeah, but I mean, we're not exactly surrounded by the coolest of people. There's some cool people. Alice is cool. She's cute, too. Don't be gross. Morning, Maddie. You're trying to get rid of me? I feel so used. Okay, seriously, my mom's gonna hear you. Okay, just one more. Okay. Okay, I'm gone. Sorry, I gotta pee. Hey, nice view. <laughs> she had curve. Hey, I'll see you later. It looks like Grandpa Sandy without his dentures. Be nice. Jeez. Messaging Lucifer? Luther, and it's none of your business. I just think it's cute you found someone as emo as you. Don't you have school today? No, I got Fridays off, remember? Don't you have work? What does it look like? Considering we all have the day off, would you kids like to do something together? Like what? There's not really much to do around here. Could go to the zoo? No thanks. Didn't you read about the eight dead penguins last week? It's just a suggestion, Maddie. She's just worried the reptile exhibit will remind her of her ex-boyfriends. At least I have an ex. Kids, it's early. Put a pin in it for a sec. Is everything okay, Maddie? You seem a little on edge. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm sorry to hear, but can you at least try to be nice? Sorry, Mom. Is it too early to play? Nope. What? I just love you is all. I made you from scratch. Mom. <laughs> Go a little easy on me, hey? Whatever, you kicked my ass last time. Oh. <laughs> we both just died at the exact same time. We did ah! Too serious. Way too <laughs> young! Why oh would this child God. even set his range as high as mine? How do I get this stupid thing off? Hey guys, there's some dude running around barefoot out there. The young ones are just on this cougar hunt, and men my age are looking for girls half my age. Just be patient, Mom. It's a numbers game. That's very nice, Maddie. But I'm not ready to rush into anything. Especially not with Russell here. His profile picture is a pizza. You know, if you guys are done, you should just quit so I can play. Don't interrupt, nerd. Okay, well, whoever dies first, I'm next, okay? No, I'm gonna take my time. I'll try dating the old-fashioned way. Who knows, maybe, uh, maybe Lewis knows some people. Not likely. Lewis, that guy sucks. Remember how mad he got at your 40th when you let me and Tim have a beer? Called you so many names. Immature? Can't those jerks go one morning without construction? I told you this neighborhood would never be finished. I think he even called you a dirty hippie at one point. <laughs> he was very drunk that night. He apologized. <gasps> yeah, like months later. Even just last week, he got so angry when we left those cardboard boxes on the lawn overnight. Dude is so anal. Did you know that, that term comes from when babies won't poo as an act of control over their parents? Ew. I don't even want to know how you know that. Well, I read. You should try it sometime. I do read, you turd. Kids, sometimes you have to be nice to people that you don't like in order to stay friends with the people that you do like. Lewis may be difficult, but um, Alice is worth it. I'll say. God, you're gross. No package from your dad today? No. It's early still. I bet it shows up later.
I don't know why you don't just stream it. Do they even make DVDs anymore? A, it's a Blu-ray and two special features. Speaking of your father, can you guys have him pick up that box of random crap when he comes to grab you next weekend? Why don't you just tell him yourself? What was that, Maddie? Nothing. What are those? I don't know. You didn't even look. Those red envelopes, what are they? Guessing some junk telling us how to become millionaires in three simple steps. You are no help. Weird. It's addressed to me. The others are for you two. Wedding invitations? Maybe. Pretty creepy choice for a wedding invitation. Creepy. Wait, are you and Lucifer getting married? What? <laughs> Shut up, Lucifer. Oh my god, I can picture it now. Black candles and a Nine Inch Nail cover band playing Hurt as you walk down the aisle. Hands bound together in black leather and Dad standing there shaking his head in disappointment. I said shut the fuck up. Did you just throw a banana at me? Dude, you need to relax. I was only joking. Jokes are supposed to be funny, asshole. Stop it, you two. What are those, wedding invitations? <sighs> Very funny. Here, there's one for each of us. So what is it? Hang on. Hang on. Is this some kind of joke? What? What does it say? Who would send such a thing? Mom. Tim. Honey, does that letter tell you to... Kill someone? Sure does. What? Red Letter Day. How much do you trust the world outside the comfort of your manicured reality? How well do you know your friends and neighbors outside the safe bubble of your online persona? Welcome to Red Letter Day. Your instructions are as follows. Kill this person before they kill you. The person in this photo has been selected using data from your online activity. You have been matched with someone with conflicting beliefs within five kilometers of your residence. They too have been sent this same letter with your image and address. Happy hunting and good luck. Then there's an address below Alice's photo. Yeah, mine says the exact same thing except for it's just a picture of some random bald dude. <laughs> Maddie, what does yours say? I'm not opening that. Knowing my luck, you probably got me. Don't you dare! Chill out, Maddie. It's just some dumb prank. Chill out? We've received letters telling us to kill people. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm finding it kind of difficult to take this seriously. I mean, look at this dude. The only thing he's murdering is a full series of Firefly in one sitting. This isn't funny, Tim. Okay, just calm down. Okay, calm down. For all we know, we're the only people who've received these. Okay, let's just open your letter and then I'll call the police. No, I want no part of this. If you guys want to play this stupid game, then that's on you. Me, I want nothing to do with this shit. Maddie, come. <sighs> Let me just give her a minute to calm down, hey? Yeah. You're probably right. It's likely just some dumb prank, but I should call the police. Give me a minute. I, I think my family's been threatened. We received letters telling us to kill somebody before they kill us. Who the hell is this dude? <sighs> is there anybody in your home threatening you presently? No, not presently. Thank you. Connecting you with the Lakeview Police Department. Hello? I'd like to report a threat on my life. Someone threatening you in person right now, miss? No, not presently. I received a strange letter. A letter? 
Yeah, this letter tells me to kill one of my neighbors before they kill me. It, it says that they received the same letter. You tried discussing this with your neighbor? No, I literally just received this and I thought that I should notify you first in case any other letters have been reported. Yes, I have children. Look, I really don't need to be patronized right now. What would you like us to do? Uh, your job, maybe? You could, I don't know, look into this or something? I am cooperating. Just please. I'll give you any information that you need. Okay, we can send an officer out to look into this uh, tonight at 6. What? That's... It's nine hours from now. Your life isn't in any immediate danger? Well, yes, I'm not in any immediate danger. Well, if that status changes, contact us again and someone will be there in moments. Well, that was horrible. What did they say? They're sending a cop at six. Christ. You gonna see if Alice got the same thing? Yeah. I'll give her a call in a bit. First, let me see your letter. Joe Dennis. You sure you don't know this man? Never seen him before in my life. Wait, is this the guy that walks his cat? You know, the, the weird balding one? You know, I remember the cat, but not the dude. I think this is pretty close. Well, I did just unpack my telescope. I'll be there in a second. Honey? We're going to spy on the neighbors. Want to join? No! Okay, let's take a look here. Tim? What? Holy shit, that's totally a fluke, Mom. We bought you this to look at the stars, not to be a creep. Honestly, I haven't used this thing since I unpacked it. I swear on my life. Do we have to have another discussion about consent? Mom. All right, I believe you. Come on, creep. Let's get creeping. Looks like Professor X hasn't checked his mail yet. Just kind of looks like another boring morning in Aspen Ridge, doesn't it? Yeah. Hang on a sec. I think this is him. Let me see. Oh, that's totally him. Oh, good. It looks like he's leaving for the day. One less thing to worry about. Oh, does he have a letter in his mailbox? Can't tell. It's one of those uh, old school ones on a post. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually kind of fun. Aside from the creepy letters and everything. What's already Kevin Smith up to over here? Damn. Looks like he also got a letter. Let me see. Probably be a good time to give Alice a call. Yeah. Mel? Hey, Allie. Uh, hang on a sec. <sighs> I'm guessing you received one of those stupid letters, too. Yeah. Pretty messed up, hey? Oh, God. It looks like I'm dealing with a bit of a punami over here. Lewis! A little help over here? Sorry about this, Mel. Look, do you mind just swinging by for a cup of tea or something? Visit me and this stinky baby? Yeah? 
Sure, I can come by in a bit. Okay, chat soon. Made a big mess. You made a big mess. Yes, you did. Mom, please. You don't need to do this. She's just a few houses down. I'll be 10 minutes. 15 tops. But what if you... Maddie, come on. This is Alice we're talking about here. At least take this for protection. Tim, put that back right now. I think we should just call okay, Dad. Okay, come on. Look, whoever sent these letters is trying to get us to behave irrationally for their own sick pleasure or whatever. I think we should just call Dad. He would know what to do. I can assure you that your father would not keep his cool in this situation. He would likely just barricade all the windows. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. It's better than what you've got. Look, just stay here. I'll be back soon. We good? I love you. I love you too, Tim, but let's not act like it's the end of the world, okay? Take care, Maddie. Oh, and lock the door behind me, okay? You're probably still in the air, but I just wanted to let you know there's some really weird shit going on. I'm sure once you land, you'll hear all about it, but we just didn't want you to worry. We're safe for now, even if mom did leave us home alone. Call back when you get this. I think you're being a little too hard on mom. She's trying her best. Whatever. What kind of parent leaves her children alone during a time like this? Give me a break, Maddie. I mean, she's literally 10 houses down in Aspen Ridge, maybe the lamest neighborhood in the city. You might be taking these letters a little too seriously. I don't think you're taking them seriously enough. Damn. People are sure going nuts over this. Holy shit. Daria just posted a video of her dad fighting. Really? Let's see. You're innocent? Guess what? ISIS don't mean shit to me, you motherfucker. Listen, just get out of here before I call the cops, okay? <laughs> ISIS don't mean shit to me. You try to scare me? ISIS don't mean shit to me, you motherfucker. ISIS? What are you even talking about? I was born in this country. My parents were born in this I country. I bet it was you, ISIS. Fucks that even sent those letters, huh? You want to kill me? You want to fucking kill me? Come on, take your best you know shot! What? You're a loser. You're not even worth my time, okay? What the fuck did you just say to me? What the fuck did you Jesus Christ. What the fuck is wrong with people? You know, I knew this was the type of shit that was hidden underneath the surface. I just figured most of it was in the US. Rednecks like this are just always looking for an excuse. People are shit. I'm trying not to be too cynical, Maddie. I mean, there's plenty of good people. We're good people. Whatever you say. I just hope Daria's okay. It looks like there's a group taking credit for the letters. The unknown. There's a video. 
welcome to the inaugural Red Letter Day presented by your friends at the Unknown. Each of you has been assigned one person to kill before they kill you. What you do next is up to you. For too long we have been categorized and separated in the name of profit and control. Today, we <laughs> will kindness and manners prevail, or will the true self-serving nature of humankind rear its ugly head? Stay tuned and happy hunting. What the fuck was that? Maybe we shouldn't have let Mom go to Alice's. Play it again. Somehow your house has become even more beautiful than the last time I saw it. Oh, Mal, you're so sweet. I don't think that much has changed. <coughs> Melanie? Louis? Hello, Lucy. How's my favorite little lady doing? Aww, oh. Looks like someone missed their auntie. <laughs> green or black tea? Uh, green would be lovely. Here, let me get that for you. Uh, okay. Has he been getting enough sleep lately? I'm sorry. He's been like this all morning. <laughs> Louis, make yourself useful and put a kettle on for us. I hear you made a little mess this morning. Mm, a little stinker. <laughs> How's it only 9 a.m. and you've already managed to roast a chicken? Mm, I've been up since 4 with Lucy. Mm. Trying to cut out deli meat. I read about another listeria outbreak on Facebook. Uh, one more reason to become vegetarian, I guess. I would try. Louis is more of a red meat kind of guy. <sighs> Crazy start to the day, huh? Yeah. It's so messed up. Has anyone, you know? Not yet, as far as I know. They say to just sit tight until the police figure it out. If the dickhead I spoke with this morning is on the case, I have no hope of it being resolved. Have a little compassion. Imagine putting your life on the line every day only to be treated like an a-hole. Didn't you date a cop once? Oh, shh. Thanks, Louie. Mm-hmm. God, the news is so depressing these days. Mixed with all these dystopian TV shows, you think the world was ending. We're not even getting cable in the new place. Pinching pennies, are we? The kids don't even watch it anymore, and I'd rather read a novel or do something outside. Mm, teach their own. That's the picture these weirdos decided to use? Oh, you look good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So, what picture did they use for me? Um, you were doing yoga. Tim said you looked cute. Well, that's flattering. <laughs> oh, crazy to think they can just gather all our information on the internet. Yeah. Feels like such an invasion of privacy. I know. It's just a strange new world. All your most intimate details up to the highest bidder. Mm. Makes you want to move to the mountains. I'd last about two weeks. Mm. Yeah, I guess we need to adapt. I mean, can you even remember what you used to do in a lineup or a waiting room or the bathroom before you had a phone? Magazines, newspapers, Archie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess it's the same thing, just digital. And now you can voice all your thoughts without an opinions column. I try to stay away from all that garbage. Sometimes you just get sucked in. I just learned what a cuck was last week. <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> so, who did Lewis get in his letter? I mean, you don't have to tell me if it's uncomfortable. 
Mrs. Miller. I don't know if you've met her yet, but she is the cutest. <laughs> Goes around every Christmas with a tin of cookies for everyone in the community. <laughs> Strange you'd be paired with such a sweet old woman. I know. I mean, I can't believe their dad or whatever paired you and I together. I mean, you do vote conservative, but... When are you going to stop grilling me about that? <laughs> Last time, I promise. <laughs> so who do the kids get? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Uh, classic Maddie. She just ripped hers up and stormed off to her room. Uh, Tim got this weird balding man. You might have seen him walking his cat. That guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so weird. That cat barely moves. Mm -hmm. I swear I see him carrying it more than I see it walking. <laughs> so, is Maddie still seeing that older boy? Yeah, but I can't blame her. I mean, I went through a bad boy phase myself more than once. Hell, I married one. <laughs> I shouldn't stay long. I just wanted to say that I'm not taking this letter seriously, like, at all. I appreciate it. I was gonna call you right away, but I had to calm Lewis down first. You know how he gets. Yeah. The kids were freaking out too. I tried telling them it was likely just some dumb prank, but well, here's hoping. I should get back to the kids. So how are they adjusting to the move and everything? Uh, Tim's taking it like a champ, but Maddie, I think she still really misses Chris. Yeah. It's hard enough being 19. Just give it time. We got this. Thanks, Ellie. Here's hoping they finish that new complex soon. It'd be great to have a cinema nearby. Oh, jeez. I cannot remember the last time we went to a movie. Not since Lucy was born, anyway. Lewis, what was the last show we saw in the theaters? Lewis? Melanie, can you please explain why you brought a large knife into my home? Lucifer still hasn't responded? Nope. Well, I, I wouldn't worry about it. His coffin likely hasn't let in the morning light yet. Dick. Oh, fuck. It looks like they're reporting a murder in town. What? A custodian was attacked by a masked man using a hatchet at the Bass Pro Shop at Cross Iron Mills this morning. Police services suspect this is the first known murder to occur in what is being referred to as Red Letter Day. Please remind citizens to stay inside and keep all doors locked until more information is known. Follow updates online using the hashtag YYC Red Letter Day for more breaking news as it happens. Bass Pro? Chances are this murder isn't even related to the letters. <laughs> it's wild. Just wild. Fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Who is that, Tim? Oh my god. Maddie, I need you to go upstairs and call the police, okay? Go upstairs, lock the bathroom door, Who and call the police. Who is that man, Tim? Why is he He's the man from my letter, Maddie. What the fuck? Why is he outside? Quickly, Maddie, please what go upstairs you... and call the police. What are you gonna do? Come with me, I'm please. I'm gonna lock all the doors, I'm gonna close the blinds, okay? I'll be right yeah. behind you. Yeah. Please, Maddie, now. I'll be right behind you, okay? Just go.
Alice, please. I can explain. Tim, Tim tried to give me that knife before I left the house, just in case something happened. And he must have slipped it into my purse without me noticing. Right. And you just didn't happen to notice the gigantic carving knife in your purse? Oh, I'm so fucking sorry, Lewis. But as you may have noticed, there's a lot of really weird shit going on today. Stop it. Stop it, you two. Mel, why would Tim put the knife in there if he knew you were coming to my house? He's just a dumb kid. I'm sure he thought he was doing the right thing. I'm trying to believe you, but does Tim think we're bad people? Do you think we're bad people? That's rich, coming from the Edwards family. Excuse me, Lewis? What is that supposed to mean? What do you think it means? Lewis, can we please just discuss this upstairs? Do you have something against my family? Oh, where to start? You let your teenage daughter date a grown man, you leave trash all over your lawn, and you're enabling your son to become an alcoholic just like his father. And you're one to talk. Don't think I don't know how much you spend on webcam models. What was it last month, Alice? $4,000? $500 for just a pair of used panties. You told her about that? That was a secret, Melanie. I told you that in confidence. Well, I guess it's all out in the open now. And to think me and my low-class family spent Christmas with you last year. How ashamed you must have been. What you must think of me to believe for one second that I was planning to use that knife on you. Look, Alice, this is stupid. How long have we known each other? Like 10 Do not years? touch her. All we know is that we received a letter saying that you would try to kill Alice, and then you show up at her home with a 10-inch blade. You will not lay another hand on me, Lewis. You got that? Then you will keep your distance from my wife. All right. It's been a crazy day, and clearly coming here was a bad idea. So I'm just going to get my things and go. You're not going anywhere. Hmm? You're gonna stay right here until the authorities arrive. Alice, are you really gonna let him behave this way? Are you gonna let him treat me this way? Look, Mel, just do what Lewis says. Alice, Alice, stop her, she's going for the knife. Alice, please. Are you fucking kidding me right now? My children are calling me. They need me. Tim needs me. I just want to answer my phone. I'm sorry. This is fucking crazy. Louis, I'm sure we can work this out. Just, just put down the knife. The only solution I can think of is to lock you in the basement until the police arrive. My children need me. That doesn't concern me, Melanie. What matters to me is the safety of my family. So, the choice is yours. You go down by your own free will or by force. But let's get one thing straight. You are not leaving this house until the police arrive. Lewis, I know that you're just trying to protect your family right now. But I am telling you one thing in all seriousness right now. If you don't put down that fucking knife and let me get to my phone, we are going to have a problem here. Just try me, bitch. Alice, take the baby upstairs now. You shouldn't have done that. Now, I need you to go upstairs and, and hide with your sister. Can you do that for me, Tim? Can you hide with Maddie? Okay. Jerry! You want some? Come and get it, you faggot! 
Uh, I, I don't know what that sound is, Jim, but, but I need to hang up now, okay? I'll be there soon. Fox. No one fucks with me. No one fucks with me. I'll, I'll be there soon. No one fucks with me! Why would you try something like that, bitch? I knew you were the only one who wanted me dead. That the letter was the last fucking excuse. I can't be the only person that wants you dead. Fuck you! What the fuck was that? Upstairs in the bed. Okay, good, good. You did good, Tim. You did so, so good. Is he dead? Yes. Okay. I need you to stay here. I'm gonna go get Maddie, and I'll be right back. Okay? It's okay. I'll be right back.
What the fuck are you gonna do? Madison, you call me back as soon as you get this, okay? Maddie, I hope you're okay. Where's Maddie? Where's your aunt? Where's Maddie? I, th I, th I think she's at Luther's. Why would she leave the house? I don't know. Just, I don't know, Tim. I... But we need to get out of here, okay? Here. I need you to take these. What are they? They're leftover T3s. They'll, they'll take your pain away, okay? <sighs> okay? You'll start to feel better soon, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna put my leg. I don't think I should touch that. I think I'll just make it worse. <sighs> okay. Now this is gonna hurt for a second. It's gonna hurt real bad, okay? And then as soon as we get your sister, then we're going to get you right to the hospital. Okay. You're very brave, you know that? Okay. Okay, okay let's do this. Come. Okay, get your foot under you. We're going to count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Good, good, good. Good, good. good. you got this? Come on, I got you. Okay, come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. I'm almost there. Almost there. Yep, I got you. Let's go. We hope you have all been enjoying today's festivities. One thing has become a bad during this revolution of ours. Only the strong will survive. With this in mind, your friends at the Unknown have arranged a game of death for your entertainment. Enjoy. Try again. I mean, maybe we're just down for a moment. Just try, try it, Tim. I just, I just need a second to think. Okay.
Please, I need your help. My son, he needs to go to the hospital. He, when I, I need to find my daughter. We can help. We have room for two more souls. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're good people. Um, where will you take him? Holy Cross. And we'll have your son call as soon as we deliver him. And we can have someone help you get him out of the car in just a moment. Thank you. We're, we're not very religious people. We're more spiritual. But if we could donate to your church or, or maybe uh, volunteer at an event you're having. Aiding people in their time of need is its own reward. Yeah. If you want to just wait with your son for a moment while we make room for this gentleman. You could have killed him. You almost killed him. Wait, what is she talking about? Ma'am? No. Ma'am? She did it. She stabbed What is she Lewis. talking about? Ma'am? No. Ma'am? No. You almost uh, killed him. Uh, Somebody uh, don't stop saying Ma'am, get back here right now. She did it. She stabbed Lewis. Somebody do Stop, Mom. Who are these people, Mom? Stop, that's Alice. No! Get it from me, you moron in the car. License plate EWR032. Echo Whiskey Romeo. You shouldn't have put that knife in my purse, Tim. You shouldn't have done that. Why does this happen? We have to deal with all that later, okay? We just need to get Maddie. I think. I think Luther's house is just around the corner. I can't believe this. I can't believe any of this. We'll, we'll get through this, okay? We just need to, to push on. This is it. This is Lucifer. Luther's place. I think I'm pretty high from these pills. Yeah. Sorry about that. Too likely would have done the trick. Are you still in pain, though? Nope. They're like one big, puffy cloud. <laughs> What's this for? In case you need to defend yourself while I'm in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, considering I couldn't find a use for a meat tenderizer. <laughs> I think he did pretty good. Did I kill him? No, honey. No, I did. You just, you saved my life. Um, what if you don't come back? Well, then you call your Auntie Heather, okay? She'll take care of you. But what if you die in there? No, what... Tim, we can't think like that, okay? No, okay. Uh, do you remember um, that road trip we took to Grandma Nancy's when you were young? You were little, you were just five. Maddie would have been seven. It was our first time ever going through the mountains with you kids. <laughs> you kept making us stop everywhere so you could pick rocks. Do you remember that? You guys must have had 10 pounds of rocks back there with you. <laughs> Do you remember what happened next? No, not really. We were just in the middle of nowhere. It started to rain and it was dark. It was so dark. Like that kind of dark that you only get when you're miles away from anything. And we rounded this corner and we saw all these flashing lights and so we we pulled over to see what was going on and and as we rolled down the windows, you could just hear this horrible moaning and this woman crying. And then you saw it first, but we realized there was this deer that had crashed through the windshield and it was pinning the woman to her seat. And you jumped out of the car and Maddie followed and I just had to, to console you two while your dad helped the woman out. And, and we stayed with her as she waited for help. And the whole time, that deer oh, was just making those horrible 
noise. This moan just echoed. And you kids were just begging us, begging us to do something. There's there was just nothing that we could do, you know? And your dad and I were just trying to tell you that it was the deer's time to pass. And, and then the deer, it, it got like a second wind. It just started like kicking madly. It kicked so hard and it like lifted itself up right out of the windshield and then just bounded off into the woods. And we were all just watching it run away. And Maddie, Maddie said something I'll never forget. She said, good creatures don't die so easy. So you're the good creature. <laughs> I hope so, Tim. I hope so. Wish me luck. Good luck. My daughter Maddie, Madison Edwards, is, is she here? Madison, she's in the basement. Did he do this to you? Has he hurt Maddie? Has he hurt my daughter? I don't know. I heard screaming. He just made a mistake. He's young. Please, please don't hurt my daughter. <laughs> Sleep for you lucky viewers. I am your host with the most, Crypto. And for those of you who haven't heard my name, believe me, after today, you will. Because you are about to bear witness to the first ever live streamed Red Letter Day death. Lucky, lucky, <laughs> the fuck? 
Okay, okay, it's down, it's down. It's Drop. down, Luther, it's gone. Just, just put the gun down, Luther, please. Well, doesn't this make things a little more interesting? Stop it, just take a look. I don't know how they feel when we killed someone who wasn't assigned to you. Luther, please, you don't need to do this. Just put the gun down, Shut the down, fuck please. up, shut the fuck up! I know. Let's ask the people. This is a democracy after all, right, Bev? What do you think, cyberspace? Should I kill both these lovely ladies? Holy fuck, look at what? those numbers. I guess that settles it. Shut the fuck up! Let's think we got ourselves a double whammy! Why are you doing this? Why? I'm not doing this. We all are. Look at you. I see the fucking blood on you. This is a fucking revolution, lady, and we all know revolution can happen without people's hands getting a little fucking dirty. And I have a feeling this scene, this fucking scene is gonna be quite popular. No. Oh, stop! I don't have another pair of handcuffs up. You don't mind that I kill you. No, 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 please, no! Please! Oh, fuck, this is so easy. <laughs> I don't know. I can't shoot both of you. That seems kind of fucking cheap. What do you think? I know. Let's ask the viewers to help us pick something a little more interesting here. <laughs> Hold time, folks. We got, uh, Death by Blade. Uh, Death by fucking Strangulation. Nah, fuck that. That's stupid. Uh... I know. Let's have a uh, mother-daughter game of Russian roulette. Fuck, that's good. Oh fuck! Are you doctor? You were gonna kill my child <laughs> live on the internet. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Just allow me to Oh, shit! How many people are watching this? Two million. Two million people were gonna watch you kill my daughter? You were gonna watch him slaughter my child? Why? Why would you want to see this? Mom, I just want to go home. Please just take me home. She's gonna call the cops. She's gonna tell them everything. You were gonna tell my baby. Put the gun down, Mom. What? what were you thinking? Mom, please. Why were you please. doing this? You filled people with paranoia. You caused them to kill you. Caused good people to murder. We just shut the blinders. You did the rest. No, no, no. no. Now get up. Okay. Give me the key to her handcuffs. You're not gonna kill me? And give those sickos the satisfaction? You are not lucky enough to die today. <laughs> Asshole! Pick yourself up. You tell me everything you know about this shit. I can't. I can't. I can't know kill me. Do I look like I give a fuck about the unknown? Now start talking. Scraper for 
punish older sisters who are trying to sneak out of the house. Are you okay? Yeah, other than a fucked up leg and a lifetime of nightmares, I'm fine. Oh my god! It's pretty gross, hey? Does that hurt? No. I'm pretty messed up on pills. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry. I am so sorry for leaving you, Tim. I know you are, Maddie. It's okay. <laughs> What a fucking day. <sighs> All right, buckle up. We may have done some bad things today, but we're not bad people. Remember that, okay? We just did what we had to do to survive, and we came out alive. Not everyone was so lucky. So what do we do now? I don't know, but whatever it is, we do it together, okay? You got it? Got it. Got it. 